Bloom Kane here, and this is Rogue Legacy. Cellar Door Games. It's kind of a neat name for it. Neat name for a dev studio. My duties are to my family. But I am loyal only to myself. Alright, so here we are playing Rogue Legacy. I have played this on another computer, actually. An old Lenovo T... What is it? T420? T420, yes. An old Lenovo T420. And it actually worked really well. In fact, I'd say it worked about as well as this is running right now. Although there are some interesting things about this game. For one, it's Rogue Legacy. When you die, your child takes over. So this isn't a normal pseudo look. As that I've played it. It's not it's not a first look. So these are not my first impressions per se, but this is a really great game. There's I don't know what to say about it. I guess we'll just I'll just I'll just say things as we get through it. So you go around and break stuff and you get gold. Gold is important. Gold is how you can upgrade your heroes. What? Oh, right. And jump, do a down attack, and fail miserably. There we go. Now this is just the tutorial. When you start the game, it goes, well, as you saw, it goes straight here. Which I've always kind of liked the aesthetic. When I just start the game and it kind of goes into it. That's some nice nice uh, stained glass there. Several generations of heroes. Going after diamonds, I guess. Then all that stuff started happening. Press D to attack. And thus begins Rogue Legacy. Yeah, I went, I went over here and I can't turn up the resolution. Cancel. 1360 seems to be the max res, at least on my setup. And setting up the Steam controller was special, because I didn't buy this on Steam. It's available on Steam, but I didn't buy it there. I bought it on good old games, because, well, I like good old games a lot more than I like Steam. But here we are. This is the staging area, I guess. And there's procedurally generated castles, so every time you go in, it's a new castle. little map there telling you you can look at your map at any time. Some journal entries. Now this one, I might actually do some sort of daily play or something with this game. This is, it seems like it's set up so well for it. Treason! An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I... I and I? It should be me. That's always going to distract me. On a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the Cursed Woods and enter Castle Hampson. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial, but rumors say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight, I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. Well, and then you go and you play until your character dies. Or you beat the game, I suppose. I haven't played it that much. I probably put in I put in a few hours because it was a lot of fun. But uh, it's a really hard game. But I, I really do think it would lend itself well to dailies. So where do we go? Let's see. I'm gonna go this way. I think. Oh, that's bad. Actually, I should probably just let one of the heroes die so you can see how exactly that works. Jump! Okay. I actually made it up here. Cool. I If I get hit one more time, I'm dead. Oh, that was almost the end of me. Ah! Skeletons everywhere! Although skeletons are awesome. Sweet. Squire Chestplate. So sometimes while you're going throughout the game, you find blueprints, and these blueprints are, well, there we go, we'll just die and it'll make it, everything will make more sense. Sir Lee has been slain by a scout. 
purchasing a uh, who cares? It's just game tips. And then you're back at the title screen. You go here to choose your heir. And you can choose, these are, if you go left, I guess these are everybody who's died. And then you go over here, and you get a choice of three. This guy, he's an endomorph. He's so heavy, enemies can't knock him back. And he can't see in 3D, because he's stereo blind. And he's got low stats. He looks really big, too. This guy's a walking tank. The trait is OCD. Must clear house, break stuff, restore. MP. Okay, so if I break stuff, I'll restore MP. Trait, tunnel vision. No peripheral vision. I've actually not come across that one yet. I'm going to go ahead and play this character, but... To be complete, class knight, standard hero, your permaroided attacks knock enemies back further. And then they also have their spell. This guy throws an axe. Let's choose him. I want to know what no peripheral vision means. So every time you select a new area, you start here. And you build up your castle. So let's start with the smithy, because... That's how it starts. The blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the world, turning you into a veritably virtuous, violent villain vaporizer. Gathering blueprints will give him an even wider array of assorted armaments for your armory. So that blueprint that we found. Yeah. Cool stuff. And then we press escape to exit to the manor. And then we're here. We got the little dummy here. Oh, and I have that spell. How do you cast spells? Okay, press W for spells. Yeah, I set the Steam Controller up for it. It was a pain in the ass. Hopefully they make that easier to set up for non-Steam games soon, but... For now. Welcome, hero. Maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith of all the lands. But one day, the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Without those blueprints, I can only make cutlery and stuff. Please, bring back any blueprints you find, and I can build the most amazing equipment ever. Ever! At price, of course. <clears throat> now... While your characters die all the time, I don't have any gold, so I can't buy this right now, but... While your characters die all the time, you only have to unlock the equipment once. Once it's equipped, you can use it forever. And then there's death. One must pay the toll. Give them all your money to enter the castle and enter the castle? Well, you have to give away any money you earn to that guy in order to enter the castle. There are upgrades that reduce that penalty, but it's neither here nor there. So, he doesn't have prohibial vision, and I don't know what that means. Maybe it doesn't mean anything? Sometimes it doesn't. It really doesn't. Other times, it's like... Like the stereo- the guys that can't see in stereo. Well... <clears throat> excuse me? The guys who are... Can't see in 3D... When you turn, or enemies turn, they disappear, because they can't... They can't see in 3D, so they can't see the sides. Man, there's like something... My throat is not happy today. So there's that rocket launcher guy, there's zombies, there's all sorts of stuff. Everything's around trying to kill you, jump too high, you hit the spikes, kills you. This game is really about your heroes dying over and over again. Ooh. As I jump into spikes. Oh, another blueprint. Blood chest plate. Haven't seen that before. A lot of times the... <clears throat> the chests are just... Or just money. Which is good. Especially at the beginning when your hero is really weak. And you could really use the money and get some of those initial upgrades. And a lot of the upgrades open up character classes or improve upon character classes. It's... It's a lot of fun. Now, if they had some sort of special daily mode to get special rankings or something, I'd, I bet all sorts of people would play this <clears throat> to get in on the daily market for Let's Plays. And I might just do it anyway, because I, I like the game. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it a lot. It's going around breaking stuff. Killing monsters. Getting money. Upgrading heroes. Upgrading heirs, I guess. Would be the appropriate thing to say. Oh, jeez. I fell. Hopefully you can see. There is 100 gold. Stuff like that usually happens. From chests. We've got an, an unprecedented number of stuff in a row. And yes, sometimes the pictures are evil. Sir Marvin has been slain by a doom vase. Bury me with my money. Sir Marvin's parting words. And yeah, that's 
pretty much it to the game. I could see myself doing some Let's Plays where it lasts five minutes or whatever. But yeah, there's some different spells like this one. Let's just choose this guy. I don't feel like reading through all that. It's not fun. I just want to show you the castle screen again. So I can health up and I can mana up. Spend a little bit of gold and you get some health. And then I can upgrade the knight. Up, yeah, turn your knights into paladins and then they can block incoming damage. But I think I'm going to save my money. Which might seem weird considering I just mentioned how death takes it all, but upgrading equipment is very, very important. How much is this? 500? Okay, I can't do that. Wow, this game is much better with a controller. Damn. <laughs> Try this again. Can I buy that? 250 to unlock. Okay, I can't buy any of that, so I may as well go spend my money since it's going to be gone anyway. Over here. Let's enable the knight, which should promote your knights into paladins. Through rigorous training, paladins have learned to block blows from any direction. Oh, and then equipment weight. That's important, too. And the castle builds up a bit. If you don't have the enough equipment weight... Hmm. What's a non-stupid way to explain this? When you get more equipment... Better equipment is heavier, and you need to be able to carry it. So you need to upgrade your weight in order to use better equipment. There we go, that's a less stupid way of doing it. By the way, there's the this spell. Bounces the... Wow, this is a really weird setup. <laughs> Try and jump over there without falling, and yes. And... Wow, that guy took quite a few hits. And I'm almost dead already, so that's good. I'm just shooting. And I'm dead. Lady Shanoa. That lady had a big old beard. That's scary. Vault runes. Oh, I can look at more tips. Okay. By pressing space, apparently. Let's press enter and call it quits. That's it for my look at Rogue Legacy. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy.